Oh, there's that front door again. Ah, uh, ha ha, and Van, welcome. It's tournament day. Heading back down to Ashton and Makefield Golf Club. Played there yesterday. One of the vlogs is now live, so please do check that out after this video. Oh no. Yeah, after this video. It's too early, my head's gone. Anyway, so we're heading down to Ashton and Makefield Golf Club. Me, I'm heading down, there's no we in this car, it's just me. And looking forward to it. Enjoyed the golf course. Enjoyed the golf course yesterday. It was a, it was a different type of golf course. It was kind of lots of undulations, kind of hitting up to the up to fairways and down fairways. And yeah, it was a really quirky, interesting golf course. So looking forward to having a card in my hand and trying to shoot as best a score as I possibly can. Fantastic field out again today. So big credit to the PGA North region and the Lancashire region. The last couple of events, the the fields have been fantastic. So it's kind of really really exciting to kind of get in amongst it again. Looking forward to it. I hope my post round reaction in about 30 seconds is as happy as my face right now. We shall see. Right, we're gonna do, I'm gonna try to take a few clips on the course as well. Playing with three amateurs, obviously I don't know them until I arrive, so I'll get the camera can maybe as out as and when I can really, but if not, see you in three seconds. Absolutely horrendous. Another tournament, another horrific day. Oh. Doesn't look like it's going to let up either. Not stop raining. It's so heavy. To be fair, that was, that was a lake. I thought it was completely unplayable. Waited about half an hour or so. I've just got back to Traffic Golf Centre. I'm about to embark on four hours coaching, six till 10 p.m. So I thought I'd do my post round recap from the car just before I head in and start teaching. And I'm doing it from the car because it's gonna be quite a quick one to be honest. Um, I shot 76, which in the end was six over. I I played all right to be honest. I, I, well, I played okay for the front for the first eight and nine holes. I was one over through eight and on the 8T, bit of a, I've got a bit of a recurring groin injury. It's an old football injury. And I did it when I remember warming up the goalkeeper. And without warming up, took a shot and the groin went. I couldn't play that day. And I get it sometimes now and again when I'm when I'm playing golf. And if I've not warmed up properly and I hit a driver and I really kind of it's in my left side, and so I really kind of rip into the left side and it just kind of strains and I feel I don't know, I don't know if it tears them up. 100% on the technicals but I felt good I felt okay all day I warmed up I was there for a good hour before did loads of stretching so obviously obviously I'm aware of it but on the 8th I hit this tee shot and it oh yeah it went it was painful and I get it all down my left kind of my left hip and it's one of those feelings where you want to just twist and you're just waiting for a big crack a big pop and it just doesn't come it just feels like there's lots of air in there it's a weird feeling it, I can feel it on my backswing, so when I get to the top, I feel a little stretch, and then on the way down, I'm always a bit tentative in terms of how hard I'm going to hit it. And I struggled a little bit. I found a way to get it round, and I kind of teed the ball up lower, and just hit little punch shots, little drives. But it's never, it's never quite, it's never quite the same. I made four or five drop shots on the back nine, and they're all really silly drop shots, to be perfectly honest. The weather was absolutely awful. Again, that's the so. Had this been took, called off today, it would have been the third event out of four that I played in that had been called off. So, yeah, the weather in Manchester has just been shocking, to be honest. One of the greens basically flooded. And to, in fairness, in fairness to the green staff again, in fairness to the golf course itself, once the rain stopped, this green um, really kind of really dried out quick, to be fair. Very, very quick. We were under instructions from the PGA just to kind of step aside, let the rain keep coming down, and then once it stops, we could start to squeegee the line. And it did. We, we kind of waited to one side on 14, I think, for a good 20 minutes. So by the time we actually took us around about half an hour or so to put out on the on the 14th green, which again is not 
not ideal. So that kind of gives you a bit of an indication of obviously how how wet it was. Even you can see it on the camera there. You can see how you can see on the video there how how wet it actually was. So that was also wasn't wasn't overly enjoyable to play to play golf in that rain. It came down for a good. I'd say out the back on the back nine, it came down for six of the nine holes. So again, bit of an injury. Started to get a bit cold. It's yeah, it was a bit, it was a bit frustrating to be honest. I think my next few, I think my next video series is basically going to be me in a physio's room. So if there's any physios watching, you're based in Manchester and you'd like to do a YouTube si video series with me, please get in contact because I am crocked. Um, yeah, left hip. Through not being in the gym, I've got very tight hamstrings very tight back and that's something i'm working on now i've already started with that so yeah just kind of got to sort that gonna sort a couple of little niggles out but otherwise to be honest yeah, i think i'm playing golf again on thursday depending on the groin i'm gonna give it a might if i don't play thursday if the weather's not perfect basically i'm gonna give it a couple of weeks before i um, get back on the golf course i think because it's i'm struggling with it to be honest it's been a, it's been a recurring injury for a long time but i've just kind of flared it up after today so never mind is what it is uh game for the first eight holes was was solid yet not really on point so i wasn't really putting approach shots close enough so i wasn't really giving myself good birdie chances when i did miss a green i was getting up and down so i was quite comfortable i was i was going along okay i was one over through eight should have been better but i was kind of confident with the holes coming up that i could have got it to below par at some point so but then i say a little bit of a bit of a niggle on that left groin and bad weather Thank you very much for watching. Please do follow us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter, Carters underscore golf and also improve my golf as well. And what's next? There's a really cool vlog coming from yesterday's practice round, so stay tuned for the end of the week. Also, we've got a comparison between the Volvic Golf Ball S4 and the TaylorMade TP5. And also a really cool comparison between the new Cobra F7 Plus driver and my old Nike Vapor Driver. Really interesting results coming up there. So, busy week on YouTube, so stay tuned, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.